Hey guys, Taki and a very washed up face. I'm kind of ill, so excuse the... Uh, I want to talk about the you've entered too many instances cock block. This is probably the thing which annoys me more than anything else in WoW at the moment, and it's a really small thing. If you don't know what it is, basically there is a limit in the game where you cannot enter more than 10 instances, so 5 bands, dungeons, anything like that, an hour. And if you do, you then have a 1 hour timer before you can enter an instance again. But the, the way the timer works, it's not based on the 10th instance, it's based on the 1st. So, for example, let's say that in 50 minutes um, you completed 10 instances, you would have to wait 10 minutes before you could enter a new one. So you can do 10 an hour, if that makes sense. Why is this in the game? Why are you complaining about it, Taki? Like, you know, what's the deal, bruh? So, <laughs> I can't believe I just said bruh, but anyway. So what the deal is, um, there are quite a few mounts in the game which you can obtain through farming old five bands. There's also transmog, this, that, and the other, right? Because of these old mounts and transmogs, People like to pick old, you know, five mans, raids, whatever, and grind them out. Okay, fair enough. Why is the system in the place? This system originally had a five um, instance per hour cap, and it was put in to stop botters from farming trash endlessly and selling the gold. Right. This really annoyed actual players, and so they increased the cap from five to ten instances. Okay, so what's the issue? This is a system which was designed before Transmog was in mind. Yes, in vanilla there were some very limited cases of mount farming in 5-man, Stratholme springs to mind. Other than that, I can't think of any, I'm sure there are some more, leave them in the comments if I've missed them out. But my point being is, early on there weren't really any mounts you could farm from doing normal dungeons. The mounts that were in dungeons came from Heroics, if you look in Burning Crusade. Heroics, again, I believe, in Wrath, and so on and so forth. Now, there aren't loads of cases of these mounts, but when Transmog comes into the picture, it's more of an issue because, well, Blizzard has very much embraced the fact that people run old content. They're well aware of it. They're like, part of the reason why Transmog is in the game is it provides content without having to make new content. It keeps those old raids and five bands somewhat relevant. So, it serves a purpose for people to farm old content, Yet the game actively discourages you from farming old content by putting an arbitrary number block. Also, this is a system which was designed to inhibit gold sellers, but this is all designed pre the WoW token. And the whole point of the WoW token is it gets Blizzard more money and it screws over the gold sellers. Hmm. So, basically I think this cap should just be removed because it's frustrating. It's incredibly anti-gamey. Like, from a fantasy point of view, it doesn't make any sense why you suddenly can't enter this instance anymore. It's also something which isn't inherently obvious, because l literally what happens when you try to enter the instance is you get a tiny little thing in your chat saying, you've entered too many. There's not, there is a 10 limit. It's something you have to Google, it's something you have to research. It doesn't say you can enter again in 10 minutes. At the very least, if it said you could enter again in a set time, it would be less frustrating to newer players. Um, or even older players, because it's like, well, how do I know when I can go back in, right? So that would be at least a small quality of life, but it doesn't solve the issue. I think, frankly, all you really need to do is remove the cap, um, or, if so, extend it even further to, like, 15 or 20. Um, so in which case, the only times it will ever truly be an issue is in the case of some form of exploiting. Um, however... What I think would be a better system, this would be a system that I'd like to see added in WoW in general, is the idea of more random events caused on farming. So you're like, what does that mean? If you guys have ever played RuneScape, right, and you're just cutting down some trees, and then the tree starts attacking, you're like, whoa, what happened, right? There was a very small chance that when you did just a generic action in the world, mining, fishing, cutting trees, or whatever, that a world event would spawn, and it would attack you, you kill it, you get a bigger reward. Why did they design this? They probably designed it because they thought it would be fun, but the main reason they designed it was an anti-botting thing, because nothing ruins a script harder than something unexpected happening and killing your character. What I think would be very good is more events like that, which don't necessarily need to be challenging and let me hear this one out they don't need to be like dangerous but if there's some form of difficulty to the mechanic 
so that it's not easily scriptable. So for example, stuff appears on the floor that you need to walk out of. That would screw up a bot. If you make it a really obvious, like really, really obvious you survive for 10, 15 seconds as this goblin throws fire at you, and then he loses his defenses and you can go kill him, then you get loads of loot. Ah. Um, we're getting treasure goblins in Legion. I, I don't know if I'm a fan of that or not, but we're giving treasure goblins, they're taking it from what? Uh, from Diablo, sorry. So if we're already going to be getting treasure goblins, and we're already going to be getting these random style events, then just import that across the board, and have it that certain actions can trigger. It'd be a really good way of stamping out botting, it would make the game feel a little more interesting, and you would finally be able to remove the instance cap, because you could have a chance on entering an instance, or whatever, that when you're in the instance, that these weird things would happen. I'm sure there's a more elegant solution. Personally, I'd be happy if they just removed the cap entirely, but I'm sure they want something in place to stop the botters. But yeah. Please remove the annoying instance cap. I'm Taki. I'm really tired. It's like five in the morning. See you later. Bye bye.